Hi guys. I just finished Book of Shadows. Right there. By Kate Tiernan. It's the first one in the sweep series. And I thought I'd do a try at doing a video review. I've never done this before, but I'm going to try. I'm going to read the back to you because I've heard that's what you do. Get swept away by the magic of an epic love. Morgan Rollins never thought she was anything other than a typical 16-year-old girl. But when she meets Cal, a captivatingly handsome common leader, she makes a discovery that turns her whole world upside down. She is a witch, descended from an ancient and powerful line, and so is Cal. Their connection is immediate and unbreakable. Cal teases out Morgan's power, her love, her magic. But Morgan discovers too soon that her powers are strong, almost too powerful to control. And she begins to suspect that Cal, her love, her soulmate, may be keeping secrets from her. Secrets that could destroy them both. And, yeah, if you didn't get that from the back, it's about witches. And <laughs> one strange thing about this book that is that both male and female magical people is called witches. So that's quite cool. Um, instead of like warlocks and wizards, the guys are witches as well. And um, I really like this whole witch thing because some witches that you see in movies and read about in books have like this power. Like, if you think about Harry Potter and like can do magic stuff and it just bolts out light and they have wands and stuff, this is more like more like real. I felt like this could happen. <coughs> they are practicing Wicca, and uh, Wicca is basically about being one with nature and finding yourself and finding peace and stuff like that and they pr practice spells with like herbs and stuff and yeah it's really cool I really like this kind of stuff um, about the characters I feel like Kate Yonan didn't really go into depth with the, all the, with, with the characters they were very light you know but because they were so light the book kind of flew away, you know? And I like that sometimes. You don't always need to read this deep, powerful, dark book. You can som sometimes read a very light book. And this is a very good example of a light book. Um, I like the character Cal. He was pretty awesome. He, like, come t comes to this new school uh, where everyone is separated into cliques. You know, everyone is with the people they've always been with. And then he comes and he hangs up with everybody and creates this new clique. And they practice Wicca on the weekends. And Morgan, the main character, discovers that she has she's more powerful than everyone else. And when they're doing a circle, uh, she usually gets too overwhelmed by the power that she faints or she can't breathe and she falls down. And she she's just she has a lot lots and lots of power. And everybody else thinks she's really strange because she's like feigning every time they're doing a circle. How strange is that? But, but yeah, I think this is a really, really good book. And I feel like I want to start the second one immediately. And I don't always feel like that. Usually I take a break between books in a series. I like read a couple of books in between. But I don't feel like that with this one. And it also ended quite strangely, like in the middle of a circle at Samhain, which is uh, Halloween, basically. And, um, yeah, I, I think you s definitely should check this book out. Definitely, definitely. Uh, I have the bind up, but they're also available in non bind up form, of course. This series is pretty humongous, if I can say that myself. It has 15 books in the series. Um, at least it had 15 books when this book was published. There they all are. Mm, I read them all in my book haul. Mm. It seems like there's only 14, and the last one, Night's Child, it just says Super Edition. It says Book 1, Book 2, Book 3, and so on. And it says Super Edition by Night's Child. I don't know what that is, but... Really good, quick read, and I definitely recommend it. Definitely. It was very light, and it just flew by, it floated by. Yeah, I like the character Morgan, and I loved um, her family's Catholic, so that kind of gives it a whole, a whole other aspect, because her parents doesn't really want her performing Wicca. 
I don't really know why yet, but I'm guessing it's because they're Catholic and they don't want her to switch her religion to Wicca. This was my attempt at a video review. I don't know how it went. Please give me comments telling me what to improve. Is that if I missed something? If there was something I rambled a lot more about than I needed?